If you think this type of stuff doesn't belong in Ultraman, you can quietly leave. <laughs> この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Are you curious where you can watch the latest episode of Kamen Rider and Sentai every week? Well, since there is no official release, you might have to resort to alternative methods. Personally, when I search for website to watch Tokusatsu, my top priority is to safeguard my personal data. That's why I rely on Surfshark VPN, the sponsor of today's video. With Surfshark, your online safety Safety and privacy is paramount as it is effective at concealing your online activities through its VPN capabilities. By encrypting your internet traffic that nobody can prey into your online endeavors or track your digital whereabouts. Additionally, Surfshark enables you to virtually explore the world with a tap thanks to its ability to change your VPN address by switching your location to any Anywhere in America, let's say, you can access at least over 10 Ultraman shows and movies or explore other Toku shows available on Tokushoutsu. You can poke around at the Japanese premium Bandai page and discover a captivating array of expensive children's toys. I highly recommend getting Surfshark VPN today as it comes with an extra three months. Simply click the link in the description and if you are on Satisfy. Rest assured, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So, why wait any longer? Take advantage of this fantastic offer and sign up now. It's an incredible opportunity for all of you, my fellow Tokusatsu fans. This is the most Gaia esque episode there is. The GGF and SCARD are testing a new weapon. Funny enough, the testing site is in Anari's hometown, where there is a tale about a guardian beast, Dorogo, that p r o t e c t the town. Anari's friend tried multiple times before SCARD arrived to stop the GGF from actually using this place to test out their new weapon. But it didn't work even with Anari's help, and they continue with the test. And with the test, they have awakened Dorgo. They tried to fight it with Earth Garon, but they were unsuccessful. But also, they gained some time after Dorgo went to sleep, with Anari's friend and Amy from the command center finding a part of the tale about the beast. They tell them that the only way to put Dorgo back. Into his resting position is taking a statue that was taken away from the shrine that Anari and her friend used to come to quite a lot as kids and put it back. Specifically, where the shrine is placed on top of the beast's head. Gento and Anari decide to go while the other are working on fixing Earth Garon. When the two started climbing, Dorogo wakes up, splitting up the two. Gento transforms into Blazer, and with the help of Earth Garon, they were able to remove the two cannons from Dorogo's back, while Anari Was able to put the statue back at its place and send Indorogo back to his deep slumber. In my opinion, this is one of the strongest episodes in the show right now. Very kind of similar to the first episode, at least in my opinion, like strength wise, but there is some differences between the first episode and this one. The first was very much about building up the world that the characters inhabit, while this one is very much kind of taking. The character and the world, and kind of combining both of their development. Not only with now learning that Anari's hometown has this kind of like, oh, there is this guardian beast, and if you wake him up, you'll be kind of mad. Don't do that. But also connecting it to Anari is very interesting, specifically with her friend having these kind of abilities of hearing bugs and flowers and animals, which, tell the truth, was not really used. I like, I wish it. Was used, it could have been cool. Like, I don't know if it was a 
feat that she kind of imagined she was doing because it never really sh it was never really shown or it actually like oh she can actually hear animals and bugs and flowers that could have been fun i don't know i am a sucker for the weird shit in ultraman as i stated in the opening this is the most gaia-esque episode there is right now it very much kind of takes the grounded element that gaia really had but also combining with the spiritual elements that gaia also had which is great i still believe that gaia if you really think about it tonality is one of the best seasons in ultraman so doing something like it is great not a lot of seasons can actually do that if i can go back to the last five seasons in the quote-unquote new gen Reiwa era. I don't remember Taiga really doing something like that. I don't remember Zed. I don't remember... I specifically actually remember Trigger never really having one. Decker kind of had one with Lord uh, Ragoon. Yeah, like episode like 22, 23 was very late towards the season. They did something very similar, which really was one of my favorite episodes, but it kind of leaned way more into like a show era episode to a Heisei era or like a high concept era episode which was also really good but I think this one is slightly better because mainly just the placement of the episode and this is where all of my problem lies with Decker and that is just the structure of the show was weird this one actually feels like right in place like very early on in the season you can focus on a specific character where our protagonist slash host slash main ultra is kind of taking a backseat which is great to see like Gento after pretty much three episodes being like the full force of attention to for him to just straight up take a backseat but I think if we combine Gento's entire appearance in episode five is maybe under three minutes which is great again I don't see it as a problem I see it as something that the show does to actually focus on a specific character so what you thought about episode 5 of Ultraman Blazer comment below let me know and next week there is a recap episode so I don't really know if I want to talk about it like maybe I would just tweet about it or and I will post it in the community post because I actually found specifically the way they're going to do the recap episode is very fun again doing a guy thing with like the news reporter group of like three people Again, it's almost like the creatives on Blazer knew that a lot of people wanted new gen Gaia. So it's like you, you get some new gen Gaia elements, but just elements of like Gaia, but you're not getting new gen. So yeah, what you thought about episode five? Comment below, let me know. Thanks Surfshark for sponsoring my video. Subscribe to my channel if you didn't. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day.